Hi guys, welcome to General Farmers Update. I'm going to give you a quick update of some things I've been up to lately. <clears throat> we went looking for drown to try to get a trident, and I did finally get a trident. I also got a couple of nautilus shells, so that was cool. The drown were few and far between, though. I don't know if you've ever done it, but it's a lot of work to try to find the drown and then to find uh, ones with tridents is amazingly difficult but I finally pulled it off and got two tridents so that's uh, an achievement in this world that I have not yet attained I found an abandoned mine when I was doing some uh, ice mining for my ice highway that I'm building and so I took the opportunity to explore it a little bit and found a spawner here you can see and uh, the locals were not happy to see me, but I managed to persuade them to let me have the spawner. That's cool. And I think that might be the first zombie spawner I have in my current world, so that'll be kind of cool for XP. Uh, got a few resources. We came across. Now, how many of you have ever seen this? This was a very interesting spawn where it managed to stick the second chest inside of a wood column. So let me know in the comments if you've seen that kind of thing or what the strangest spawn accident was that you've had in your world. And then I, uh, I kind of taunted a creeper into exploding just for the fun of it here, so... I noticed that he couldn't cross the rail, so I got really close to him and just, he finally had had enough and just blew me up. He didn't blow me up, but he blew up. Alright. I used my captive skeleton to finally get some records from creepers. Managed to lure a couple of creepers into the, the farm here where uh, the skeleton could shoot them in an attempt to get me. And I got some fancy records that I've never had before, so that was cool. <clears throat> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> this one took a while to kill, because I was. this was the first time I pulled this off, and so I was trying to find the ideal spot to sit where the skeleton could shoot me. Uh, I mean, could shoot at me and hit the creeper. So, it took a little dancing back and forth, and uh, getting things just right. But in the end, it works. I had to get a little closer, it turned out. I had built the wall a little bit too far back, so it was making it very tricky to get the creeper hit. Oh, and you see one of his friends snuck up on me while I was doing that and blew a large hole, but no harm done particularly. I think all it did was blow the lever off my little device for pushing a glass block over the head of the skeleton so he wouldn't shoot at people all the time. But I fixed that later. And managed to get a record. And uh, a little while later, went outside, there was another creeper, managed to get a second record. So that was successful and fun. <laughs> That's my little device repaired to hide the skeleton. Then I've been working on my nether hub. I had a nether hub that's been wonderful, but uh, I've had to run everywhere and it's gotten extensive enough that I thought I would finally break down and build an ice boat highway so I could get from spot to spot more quickly. So I've been working on that. I'm about two-thirds done with it, but I've got a little, few little clips here of my work on it. This is the old hub that I'm tearing down and because uh, I want to build this thing not only nicer looking but also level so I don't have to get up and down any rises in the boat. So I am modifying my old hub so that everything is on the same level. But that's been interesting and, and incredibly quick. 
it's a lot of work, but when I get it done, the uh, the trip from hub to hub is very fast this way, so it's well worth it if you have the means. <laughs> yeah, it's intensive. In All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and this is General Farmer out. I'll see you next time.